doesn't hear anything, I hope that you can hear. <laughs> so, all right, I see that the recording is started now. Perfect. Okay. Any questions so far? Need me to go over anything else before I move forward? Feel free to feel free to unmute yourselves if you have any any current questions, pressing questions. And I'll jump all at once. <laughs> all right, Leah, we'll let you proceed. Okay, one second. I've mm -hmm. got a four-year-old that's trying to intrude on this meeting. Oh, never mind. I do see Nancy has her hand up. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Nancy, go ahead and ask your question. Oh, Miss Karen asks, how will they access the recordings from last week? Let's see. Good question, Karen. Let's see, I'm trying to think of, and, and as I'll note, and Nancy, we cannot hear you. Uh, I'm trying to think for uh, with Leah. Uh, has James walked through? How they how captains can access their recordings or uh, the, their team's uh, steps and things like that for them to see. Um. Well, she was talking about the recordings that from oh. the last oh, okay. couple. Of oh, okay. I'm sorry. The recordings. Oh, the actual video recordings. I'm thinking the the teams. I'm sorry. So <laughs> what I what I'll do, Karen is uh, I had to embed the links uh, in the home somewhere. So what I'll probably do is I'll put them on our YouTube page for and send the link out through Renee. Okay, so let's get started on our new stuff. So you may have noticed um, that Mr. Jamar put out a blast saying that um, we have some new challenges out. So this is the fun part of the competition. We just had, you know, a thousand calorie competition just to get us started to play around with it. But now here comes the fun stuff. This is what the village is all about. We're having our friendly competition. And so this is what you want to encourage your folks to join because this is what you get your bragging rights for. And, you know, it's fun to say my church did a lot of steps, right? So here's what we want to do. This is going to get us all healthy. It's going to get us active. It's going to get us, you know, interested in joining the program. Um, so here's how you join. It is super simple. Um, so the only thing that you need to do um, is click here on fun challenges. And I just created an article today. Um, and once you click on fun challenges, you'll see all of the ones you can see here at the top uh, that I've already uh, joined the silver step. Um, but I could join the gold, the bronze, or the platinum if I wanted to. Um, and it even tells you how many days are left in that challenge. Um, so once you click that, all you have to do is click follow and then you're, you're there. So um, let me go and I'll pull up the, uh, where is it? I could pull up the article that I just wrote today so you guys can see it. Um, and here it is. So you just click fun challenges right here. You're going to select your challenge. And then you're just going to click down here and join. And you'll see that uh, this one has 420,000 steps. So that means just about 10,000 steps a day. If you take care of that, you'll pretty much hit 420,000 steps, which seems like a lot, but it's really not that bad. So you can do it. Um, and let's say that you're like, oh, I don't really think that I can do that. Uh, that's just too much. I accidentally joined it. You can easily just leave the challenge. And it's right here. There are actually two little dots. And if you click those two little dots, this little um, button will pop up that says leave challenge. And that's it, simple as that. That's how you join a challenge. And you can see that Mr. Jamar joined that step challenge. And you can see those folks that are in the challenge, 
you could see that they burn those calories with those with walking. And even though it says the walking, it is actually giving a higher points for the steps um, like that. So and you can see yesterday I logged in. I didn't walk a lot yesterday, um, but I only did 2,136 steps out of 210 that I need. So I've got some catching up to do. Okay. Same, Leah. Same here. Uh, for some <laughs> reason, I thought I joined this. Uh, I thought I joined the challenges yesterday, and it would have been great because I, I logged in about 12,000 steps yesterday. But, uh, oh well. I mean, it's recorded <laughs> on my calendar. So. Yes. <laughs> okay. So um, what to do if you would like to create a challenge within your church team? Miss Renita, I got to talk to her earlier today. She's still on the call. Hi, Miss Renita. Um, so if you want to create a challenge within your church team, um, what we ask for you to do is to send, we're only allowing the staff members to create the challenges. So you cannot, um, what we're gonna do is, this challenge will be open pretty much for anyone to join if they wanted to. Um, we cannot go just basically to your actual group and create a challenge. It's basically gonna be an open challenge for anyone to join. But again, if you want to one, do one specific, um, you could say, all right, we want this to be calories. You can even, I believe you could even create challenges for, you know, logging your water or um, logging your food values. I will say that I noticed when you were um, logging in your water, um, the conversion unit is leaders. And that's because this app was developed overseas and that's their unit of measurement for uh, liquids is leaders. So you might have to do, you know, some simple conversion on that, but I do believe you could even create a challenge based upon that um, because those are metrics that you can track in the app. So if you're interested in creating a challenge just for your church group, you're more than welcome to do that. But all we do is just ask that you send an email to the team um, and then let us set that up for you. And then, well, we have a naming convention. So um, right now, all of the challenges through the health department are official um, VHB step challenges. But if you were to request something from, say, um, McClintock Presbyterian Church or what the name is, I apologize if I've misspoken, um, then we would name it as such. And then you can have your members join it that way. Okay. All right. Another question that I've been getting is how to follow members in the group. Uh, again, I've linked my article that I wrote. Um, I just want to give a couple of pointers on that. Um, a couple of things is that it, it, it doesn't make it easy. Unfortunately, it's you will not be able to find someone um, when you're searching. You can't find them just using their first and their last name. Um, you need to know their username or their email. So that's a little bit confusing um, for some people. So I actually have an easier way to do it is just find your person in your church group and follow them there. So at this point, I'm going to stop sharing this screen and I'm going to share my phone so you can see that. And let me flip over to here. Please bear with me while I switch. Share screen, start now. And we're gonna go here. Let me go back to my home page. Okay, so from here, I need to, my home screen, I need to, okay, I need to go down here to community. And I'm going to find a group. So I want to follow somebody that's here at Parkwood because this isn't the church that I belong to, hypothetically speaking. The easiest way for me to follow someone, I'm actually gonna just go ahead and follow my husband. So I'm just gonna click his, um, his screen name. Maybe I can't follow him. Oh, there it is. I can click his profile just like that. And now I'm just going to follow him. And my husband has not done much activity on here, so I need to tell him to get on it. And there you go. Now I'm following him. 
So to me, that's the easiest way to find someone to follow is find their church group and then click their picture that way. Otherwise, you need to know their username or their email address. Any questions? Y'all are awfully quiet today. Mm -hmm. I have a question. This is Ann White. And um, we have synced our uh, NEOs with the app. And so the amount of steps that shows up on the fitness tracker is not the same amount of steps that shows up on the phone app. So I don't know how to have the two to actually show the amount of steps from the NEO to the phone app. Can you send me a, uh, an email with that? And I need to, if you don't mind, send the picture because I need to send that directly to the developers. Okay. I've had several people to do that. You know, they oh. would show me mm -hmm, when I got them synced and okay. um, show me the steps on the NEO is far more than the steps that are showing up on the app. So yeah, I can send that to you. First Lady Ferguson says that sometimes it's a delay by a day, but I don't think it even should be doing that. So I definitely would love to see um, a picture, you know, take a picture of the watch at the end of the day then, you know, wait and see, um, maybe give it a day. But I would like to see it, you know, that night. Okay. Um, what comes into the app and then the next day, if that updates. Because if it is a disconnect, especially with the Neo Health Tracker, then they need to fix that. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? All right, another question is, I've got my members still can't activate their account. What do I do now? Um, we've, and then this is assuming that we have reset the link um, a few times. The main thing that we need to know, number one is the email address because we have noticed that um, sometimes the folks, when they um, did the assessment, they put in, one email address and that email address is not correct. Perhaps they typed it incorrectly um, or they're just not using their you know, iCloud account as much as their Yahoo account. Um, so before we do the manual activation, um, definitely ask us to you know, verify the email address that we have on file. But if we reset that link to you a, a number of times, at least one time, and they've checked their spam and they've checked their junk mail and they do not see that email from Mecklenburg County Health Department, then please make sure that um, they, oh, I just realized I'm not sharing my screen anymore. One second, let me stop this sharing. Okay, so um, what, what, what we ask you to do is just send us an email again to support at mybhv.org um, and we need the following information. The participant's name and their email address. We must have the height, weight, and date of birth of that person. This is why I, we would prefer that um, the, the folks go through all of the steps to try to do this on their own using the registration link. Um, again, this data all stays within us with the app, but perhaps your members aren't comfortable giving out that information. If that's the case, then they can send their own email to us and we can do the manual activation. But no matter what, this is the only way that we can manually activate someone is if we have all of this data, name, email address, height, weight, and date of birth. So you could send this one email with everybody that you want activated, 
or you can have them send us an email or you can do one by one. No matter what, we will get them activated because we want to make sure that everybody that joined in uh, wants that wanted to participate will be able to participate. OK, um, we will manually activate that account and send you their temporary password, but please have them reset their password once they're in. And if you have questions about how to change your password, guess where you can go? The knowledge base articles, because there's an article about that, how to change your password. All right. And the final slide, meet our VHB support team. So my interns are actually here on the call today. Um, we have Hezekiah, who's right here. We have Aaron, who's here. And um, Marvin is also, he wasn't um, here at the office today, um, but he is also part of the team. So I just wanted to brief you, briefly introduce you. Um, these folks are from um, the CPCC Next Gen program. Um, so these guys are working with informative technologies uh, to get experience working in a technology company. So learning how to be um, help desk support so that when they're finished with their interns with us, internship with us, they have great resume experience um, and can go out and get a great job starting their IT careers. So just wanted to introduce you to these guys. Um, they might want to say hi, they might not, but you um, might start seeing their names on the tickets. Um, so far, I've been answering all of the tickets, but I am now training these guys up so that they'll feel more comfortable um, answering um, any of the uh, questions that are coming through. So if you see their names, just be patient with them. And, um, you know, we're, we're all working together. We want to um, give these guys that um, great experience that they need. So. Hezekiah, Aaron, Marvin, would you all like to say hi? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe they'll say hello. something. Hello. Hi. This is Aaron. Hello. Hi. I've heard a lot about you guys. Good to finally hear your voices, see your faces, uh, even if it's on the photo. So thank you for your uh, your assistance and diligence with uh, helping our helping our uh, our network here. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome. This is Hezekiah speaking. <laughs> That's all I have for you guys today. Um, if there, I don't know if anyone else has any questions. That's what we're here for. Um, so there you go. Let's see. I, I, um, I, go ahead, Mary Alice. I think that's I, you first. Go ahead. What did you say, Jamar? Oh, I thought that you were asking a question first, but never mind. It's Rita. Go ahead, Rita. Yes, I have a question. Um, I was able to get the uh, Village Heartbeat thing set up. However, I cannot get my uh, Samsung to connect to it. I went, I did the little thing where I ordered the third party, the health sync, and I still can't get it to connect up. Okay, Mr. Jabbar actually talked about this today. He told me about it. So you're specifically the one that I'm talking about. I need you to send me an email so that we can reach out to that third party app. Like I said, we have a uh, direct connection with them. And I believe Mr. Walker has a uh, Zoom call already scheduled with them. Um, I'm, if it's not tomorrow, then it's definitely Thursday. Um, and okay. we will get you direct help with that. Uh, okay. Because we want to make sure that you have it, okay? Okay, thank you. You're and welcome. Leah, when you say send an email, do you want that directly to you, or do you want that in, in the to the support email, just for clarity? I would prefer it as a support because, again, we want to track everything that's going on. Gotcha. Um, Understood. So send it to you. Uh, yeah, you support. send it to the, the support email. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right. You're welcome, Rita. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I, I see your, your, your message, Nancy. Uh, yeah, we'll schedule a time. Uh, you and I can talk offline and we can schedule an appointment so we can discuss what needs to be discussed. OK. Let's see before. Also, I'll, I'll leave the floor open again, as, a, as you see on the slide. Are there any other questions? that you or your team members may have. 
Jamar, this is Cynthia. I wanted to know if I could get a time to, to um, bring in uh, devices for two of my seniors to sure. try to get them linked up with the um, app because they were having problems. Okay. Um, let's see. What is your? How soon? You just tell me what's what's when you're available. Just tell me what's the best time for you. I can do tomorrow. Okay. Possible. Yeah, I can do tomorrow. Okay. Because I'll be at a. Um, I'm, I'm treating my mother to for, for Mother's Day for the, to uh, to go to the mountains for the weekend. So I'll be okay. gone Thursday, Friday. Uh, okay. So yeah, I can do tomorrow though. Okay, I'll come tomorrow. But my other person, Randall Miller, he hadn't even received the email. I checked his phone yesterday. He hadn't received the email, and we did register and everything for him. I remember seeing that name. I think because I remember asking you what his gender was. We just, there was a question we asked. So yeah, right. Um, and I know that I know Leah. The latest message that we got from Leah was uh, uh that you know she had set up a account. So we'll probably have to probably have to figure out a way to get him taken care of uh, manually. Okay. Can you just send me it, send an email with the name and I'll double do another double check and I'll make sure to get him added in if he's not there. I thought I caught okay. everybody. Yeah. Okay. So send that to support email? Correct. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Deborah Griffin, you, I got your, you got your hand up next. Yes. Yes, um, I have a question. Can you go back over how you manually enter steps for pe people who, you know, want to manually enter their steps? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then First Lady Ferguson, you'll follow. Okay. So I'm on my uh, Android phone right now. My daughter has my Apple phone, um, but the best way to manually add your steps. So within the app, as of right now, where um, you cannot add steps, you can only add um, like activities such as walking, okay? Um, but if you wanted to manually add steps, so like you have a Garmin or even if your Fitbit's just acting wonky or something like that, then you can go here to your Google Fit app. And so actually I need to do that for today because my watch is having issues syncing. So I don't, I don't think I really walk that much today. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just touch this button, this plus sign down here at the bottom of my screen. And I'm going to add activity. Okay. I am going to just enter in my steps. So I have 2,800 steps. And that's it. So when I click save, you see now my Google Fit is updating. And in a couple of minutes, it will update here on my app. It's not immediate, but it will update here in my app. If I go down here to calendar, and you'll see it's not there yet, but if I give it a couple of minutes, that information is gone. Look, there it is. So that took okay. about a minute for it to pop up here in the app. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And it's similar steps, uh, similar, no pun intended, similar steps to do that using Apple Health. But there's an article that shows all of the steps, how to do it on Google and on Apple Health. And I'll put that in here. All right, First Lady Ferguson, you've got the floor. Okay, so um, Leah just came out with my numbers every day. Um, there's one crazy day, like on uh, April 26th, everything is is usually pulling from the um, from the app from the little watch that we have. But on April 26th, it shows on here something strange, like 3,100 3, steps, and it's got a heart beside it. It doesn't show the watch. That's the only one that has a heart beside it. All of the other ones show a step from the watch, and I'm trying to figure out why for one thing because uh, i don't have a 
Apple Watch, so, but I don't know. Well, I'm going to ask you, were you holding your phone that day a lot while you were walking around? Because it's quite possible, again, you know that your phone can basically act as a step tracker, right? right. So yeah, I'm wondering if that day when you were doing your exercise, if you were holding your, your phone, perhaps Apple helped track those steps. I don't okay. know. I, don't know. I, know, I, I do I know. I do know for a fact, though, that you can do both at the same time. Like it can pull Apple health data at the same time as the Neo health, because I can show you on a couple of days when my kids had the um, app, um, you can see like, let me see, here's one of those days. You can see that it pulled Neo health and it also pulled Google fit. Neo health is there at the top and Google fit is at the bottom. Now that would be great if it did that because I, I averaged 10,000 plus points. So to see mm -hmm. 3109 and all the other days, like 12 and 17 and stuff, it's mm -hmm. just crazy. But I don't know why. I don't know why it's like that. I, um, right. Yeah, I see. Thanks for showing me that because I only see a heart for this one. Then, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess I could check my phone somewhere, but I, I don't carry it around with me. I'm usually walking throughout the house, but not uh -huh. with a phone in my hand. Right. So you can see that on these days, you can see that it's pulling data from my watch, my Samsung watch, and then it's pulling data from my kids wearing that um, Apple watch on that <laughs> okay. day, the 23rd. So you can see it can pull lots of different data because my account is connected to my the kid's iPhone and it's connected to my uh, Galaxy Note. So Gotcha. All mm -hmm. right. OK. But you couldn't add those together because those are two different people, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Uh, do we have any other questions? Oh, oh, I see Michelle's got her hand up. Go ahead, Michelle. Mine's in the chat. I don't oh, know okay. If in the chat or not? Let me go there. Let's see, what is Michelle's question? Oops, I clicked the wrong button, sorry. Uh, should I be able to see all of my team members in the VHB app under group members? If so, I do not see everyone. Oh, okay. So, Send us a ticket. She's a, yeah, she's, a, she's under Little Rock. Yeah, so. I have eight people, and that's including James Walker. I mean, if he walks a lot, he could be on the team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, send us an email with the folks that you don't see, um, but I have my guys on the call. So, um, you know, Hezekiah, Aaron, or um, Marvin, you all can just do another check for um, Little Rock and just verify that everybody that's in that church is added to that group. I would appreciate that. Perfect. Perfect. I do see them other places, but I was just clicking on different things where it says the groups, you know, and I clicked on our church name, and that's where I saw missing people. Yeah, and uh, and you're in the right direction, um, Michelle. Yeah, so you're all your people should be there. Well, yeah, we'll like she said, they'll have she'll have the team go ahead and do a sweep and then place those who, are, who may be missing in there for you. All right, any other questions, comments, concerns? Well, uh, I do I do apologize also. I want to go ahead and put on the front uh, that I apologize for, for getting this out on such a short notice. Uh, thank you all for attending. We we had a, a very thorough team meeting today, and uh, time got up under me. That's on my end, so I apologize. So I'll make sure to get this out uh, for next Tuesday in a, a better time, so uh, so we can make sure that everybody who uh, may have questions and they can allocate the time that they need to to uh, to get on and and uh, access. It. But I'll go ahead and uh, edit this down, and then like I said, like I told Karen, I'll make sure to get the get all three of these up and uh, share through Renee for you all to access.
Okay. okay. Um, I will not be present. I'll be recovering from surgery next oh, week. Shoot. So y'all please give me, keep me in your prayers. Um, oh, yes. Mr. Okay. Walker will be leading that call and I'll see if I can get some interns on there just in case they are able to answer any questions. Okay. Thank you, Leah. And you know, we hope speedy recovery for you. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, I'll let you have the rest of your, your evening. Uh, as I always say, even though it rained today, it's still a little light outside. Hopefully you'll be able to catch up, do a little bit more stepping in there, uh, play with the app if you don't feel like going outside. And as always, bring us your questions, your comments, your concerns, and help us make it, help us improve this as we go through this pilot, okay? Um, hope you all have a good night, and uh, we'll talk soon, okay? All right. Thank you. Uh, you all have a good one. You have a good one, good too. Night. Enjoy your Mother's you. Day. Thank oh, you. yes. Happy Mother's oh, yes. Day to all the mothers on the call, by the way. Sorry, where's my manners? Thank <laughs> you, Thank Mary. You. Uh, for reminding. <laughs> all right, y'all have a good one. You too. Goodbye. You too.